Everybody, can you hear me? Hey, what's going on, man? We are live. Almost. You're live. <laughs> I'm live. Uh, it did work, though. It did work. So good. good. Perfect. So, uh, All right, good. ladies ladies and gentlemen, Dan already hit his first snafu with ZBrush. First, oh, no, hang on. Let me, <laughs> I, let me wait till this starts, and I'll give the whole story about my fucking ZBrush adventure <laughs> so far. Off to the running start, man. This is awesome. <laughs> this is why I use the Mudbox, gents. Ladies and gents. Oh, uh, that's awesome. All right, all right so anyway, um, for there. for all you uh, cats out there, um, we're going to be doing um, the multi Twitch stream. So if you don't know multi Twitch, um, it's basically showing uh, my stream and Dan's stream on the same page, uh, and then on the right hand side you'll have uh, my chat and Dan's chat. So. Um, we'll keep an eye on uh, questions, so there's probably going to be a lot of people here today. We'll try to keep up with as many questions as possible, but I'm sure that um, uh, most questions will get answered uh, eventually, even if uh, we don't point you out uh, specifically. So um, if we don't get to it, definitely um, keep us in mind uh, that uh, we got a lot of people coming in. So... Um, also, uh, awesome uh, mod Marcelo Laborda, also known as AKA Marcellus Wallace. Uh, he will be helping us out today uh, with uh, keeping questions and stuff. So, if you have a question, um, specifically in chat, write down, write question, space, uh, or dash, whatever your question is. That way we can quickly pick it out uh, for what the questions are. And then uh, 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 Marcella will be uh, taking an eye on Dan's chat and my chat uh, at the same time. Good luck, Marcelo. Ha <laughs> ha! No, he's, he's good like that. I am going to go live. Here we go. All right, buddy. Hang on. By the way, Marcelo, I just put in oh. a, a new Nightbot command. Um, which is this one here? I'll show you. Z nav, N A V Z N A V. Um, that will give you guys the link to um, the Pixelogic uh, ZBrush shortcut um, document. So that's definitely a good one to have up and handy. How you doing, Dan? Pretty good. Almost ready. Almost streaming. Almost on target. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Well, yeah, I've got a uh, ad running for you. That's a good sign. All right, that's a good start. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Hollywood and London Falling. Yeah. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Preparation H. <laughs> We were going to go All with right. J and K, but H is the plan. Okay, hang on. Looks like it's now... Hang on. Oh, I can hear that. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 <laughs> Thank everybody in the chat. Hey, Badge, thanks very much for recently subscribing, too, man. I appreciate it. Um, it actually was originally up at the top of my uh, broadcast window, um, but... It is not showing up anymore for whatever reason. Let me just make sure everything works here. God, this is still being slow. That's what I was every time I restart my computer. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you fine. Yep. You have to share your screen, though, on uh, the Google Hangout. Yeah, hang on. My computer is okay. dying right now. Just hang on a second. Yeah, just to Brush let you guys know. Use mud box or ZBrush gadget yeah. fun. <laughs> just just to uh, let you guys know. Marcelo, is he? No, oh, I gotta start my. Uh... Yeah. Man, this is just this just takes forever to kind of get going and stuff. Hello, everybody. By the way. Just to <laughs> let you guys know that uh, Dan did not uh, sculpt this in ZBrush. What what you're seeing on his screen? That was uh, a yeah. previous model. <laughs> Although he she should be able to sculpt that in ZBrush by the time we're done, no pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> um, sorry guys, this is very really uneventful. Let me. I'm just still getting started here. 
Hey, Dark Place, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, well, we know that works because that, that was going to be my next thing. Um, and then I just need to start my... Man, this is just... Just one of those days. Okay, now it's going. Just had a night box. All right, Marcel, that's awesome. Let me just make okay, sure cool. everything works properly. Oh, geez, you're you're a beauty, Marcelo. Sus, how are you? Not Susu, but Sus. I'm great. Did how are you? All right, fifty-three people. All right, so yep, we are off to the races. Hello, yes, sir. Welcome. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, so I'll give you guys a little backdrop of how yesterday went. It was awful. So I went to buy a ZBrush. I have an American account and Canadian account. My American address, I guess, is different than I thought it was on my cards. So I tried to purchase it three times, spent like an hour and a half trying to get it while uh, Brendan, the uh, kind-hearted soul he was on the other end, <laughs> hit his lip while I was doing it. So eventually I had to use my Canadian card or whatever. But I have it now. I have it. Look at this. ZBrush. Uh, and then the sensitivity stopped working, so I had to restart. It looks like it's working now, though, so... Oh yeah, shit. Sorry, dude. Let me uh, let me share the screen. Hello to everybody, though. Marcelo, how are you? Marcellus Wallace. How's everybody doing? Yep. We got Badge in here. We got Modeler. We got Gadget Fun Step. Oh hey, how what's up, you? guys? How are you guys? What's how up? Are you? Oh, we got how are you? Uh, Badge Digi. Modeler. Yep, did. yep. Dota. What's up, Dota? And let me. You look so com you look so comfortable in ZBrush Mono. It's because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> That's why. Jacob, how are you? How's it going, man? <sighs> okay. Uh, I was gonna do something else. Oh yes, I was gonna share. My yeah, screen. share the uh, Google screen. Okay. If you guys let me know, am I anybody in my chat right now? Could you guys let me know how the audio levels are? Let me know how the microphone is. Let me know how the video is. Yada yada yada. Nice, Sven. Oh, Pe thanks for accepting my Petro's Facebook here too. What's request. up, man? Pez? No, no. I, I, that was a mistake. No, I'm just kidding. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Glotus, how are you? When since to be sometimes I'm working, I just switch between Windows and it comes back. Yeah, I, so I didn't have that issue. I actually had to restart. Billy Bumbler, thank you very much for the follow. Dark Mind, how are you? Let me just make sure all this. Yeah, share, share your Google now. screen. <coughs> uh, it should be, should be shared now. I'm going to have a little bit of Mario action. Hey, hey there we go. All right, All right. so now you guys should be able to see. Works. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Is it working about. now? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Dude. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So. Um, Are we done yet? <laughs> we're <laughs> Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, oh, you All know right. what, though? You can't see my screen, though, right? I can see your screen. You can see my screen um, yeah. live? Yeah, I have a... Um, I'm trying to figure out a way if there's a way I can... Oh, right, it, with the, with the Google Hangout. Got yeah, it. I, I can see it, man. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Are you re Dude, are you ready? Are you ready for uh, I'm this? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Sven, how are you? Sander, that's perfect for me. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. Google Hangouts I found is uh, is probably the one of the best ways so far. Um, we tried we tried uh, Skype last time and it was a little buggy to say the least. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you ready, dude? Let's get let's get this going. I think we're uh, about uh, 10, 15 minutes in. All right. Okay. So, uh, ZBrush, dude. Welcome, welcome to the family, man. <laughs> yep. uh, uh we've been uh, uh you know as as a lot of people um already know uh we've we've been trying to get dan into zbrush for a long time so yeah, welcome it only took 14 years yeah it only took Sander, 14 years to the fall. Dude. To the fall, uh, yeah. even even though zbrush has only been around for five we've been trying for 15 years yeah it takes takes me some lead time so <laughs> sander thanks for the follow man all right so uh zbrush so the first the first thing that i had that i tell people uh and especially uh, people that have been working in 3d for a significant amount of time is the the best advice i can give you is forget everything else like all the other programs how they're set up 
uh, what their workflow is, um, f- completely forget it. Go into this with a com- like a blank slate um, and an open mind because it's wow. different. It's different than any other thing uh, that that's been that's out there. Okay, so um, by uh, history wise. Um, the ZBrush is basically a two and a half D paint program, right? So the idea is that you have this canvas and you can create 3D objects to put on your canvas. Um, work in th- here. Let me just let me show you what that looks like. Ba, ba, ba. Right. Okay. So we have a blank canvas, right? <clears throat> and if we start drawing, right, we can place 3D objects on our canvas, basically, right? So where the beauty uh, and like the unexpected success of ZBrush came in is the fact that when you place down a tool, which is one of your um, items over here, you can actually pick that up and edit the tool and then put it back down again, basically, right? So uh, the first thing is if if you drag something out, if you hit T, it will go into this edit mode, right? And yeah. now when we move around, we can, we can actually edit this, right? So then yeah. we can do edits, blah, 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 blah. And then if we hit T again to get out of edit mode, and then we can bring up that same subtool with the same edits however we want to, right? That's the basics of what ZBrush is. Um, what made ZBrush awesome is uh, the sculpting tools that come along with when you pick it up. Um, I actually... Not many people that I know of actually use it as a two and a half D paint program anymore. It's mostly just a sculpting program. Sure. So, um, anytime that you have uh, an object or a tool, um, if you hit T, um, that will go into and out of this edit mode, right? So that's whether you pick it up or put it back down again. So a lot of people, um, when they're just starting out, um, you know, will pick it up. Uh, you're, oh, I'm in edit mode. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, you know, doing stuff, and then somehow they get out of edit mode, and they go like that, and like, oh shit, now what do I yeah. do? You know. So here's the, so the other the other big thing is that each one of these are uh, what they call tools over here on the right hand side. Not to judge their character, but that's just what they are. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> in each tool uh, will be stored. Um, your uh, undo history, right? So uh, up here is all your undo states. So if you have, you know, hundreds of thousands, it'll be kind of across the board up here. So right, where where is it? These oh, this thing right here. So if I do, yep, right. So you see all your undo states going back and forth, right? Oh, right. Oh, so you can't. You don't have like layers or anything like that. You do. We'll get into that. Those are called all subtools, right? right? So, but uh, each one of them will have their own undo history, right? So the the important thing to know is that um, all of your history states stay within the tool and not the document, right? Because usually with everybody else, with the other program, uh, you change the document, you lose all your history, you lose pretty much everything except for your save state, right? So yeah. if you go up and do new document, uh, so go to document, do new document, hit no, that just clears your whole document, right? But I can drag that tool back out onto the um, the palette, hit T for edit, and then now I'm back here, and I still have my undo history, right? So all of that lives in the tool. Oh, in the Z tool. Okay. Right. Got it. Everybody got that? Cool. Excellent. Very, 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 very important to learn. Okay. So if I'm if I mess, so say I'm going to mess around with this or whatever, yep. right? And uh, let's be. Let's just move the. I'm gonna do that. Whoa! Yeah, it's football head. That's why they. Yep. So That's why they go. pay so you I'm the done. big bucks, dude. I've done that, and I'm gonna <laughs> switch to cylinder. I don't have to press anything. I'm just gonna switch to cylinder. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. All right now, do you can do a bunch of stuff to cylinder. Um, you see, if I go to a new document, if I go to a new document, it'll still. Yep. So there's a little make poly mesh 3D over there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that. Just, that switches the tool basically, right? Yeah. Like officially. Okay. So I've done that. I'm going to go to yep. document new. Yep. Would you like to save? No. No. Negative, buddy. And I'm going to bring this guy back in. Yep. And then boom. And he has all the history still left on him. Yep. Exactly. Wow. Okay. That I didn't know. Yes. So like, unlike anything else, right? Yeah. 
So what you can do now is you can um, create different sub tools within this tool, right? So then you can look at you can think of them as layers. Um, there are something called layers um, within each sub tool that we'll get to later. So we're gonna okay. call them sub tools instead of layers. The more you know. The okay. more you know. All right. And everybody is just joining, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah. Again, like if you guys, um, uh, yeah, let, let, let us go through like this beginning stage and then we'll get to some uh, more specific questions because I'm sure most of that stuff will get answered. Um, okay, so how do we add more stuff to this particular tool, right? So um, there's, there's something called append where um, if we go to... So see. this one, this one, in, okay, so I actually have, let me bring in another head. Yeah. Or actually I'll bring in a suit. I think I have a suit here. Uh, your models then, are way more interesting than my models. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I um, do I have to make it? I have to make it poly mesh, poly mesh to actually bring them both in, though, don't I? Uh, no. So here's okay. here's the difference between poly uh, a um, a uh, what do they call it? A primitive and a poly mesh three D. Okay, so um, I have a rough suit. Okay. Suit that I used on my head. I'm going to bring in my my head, my head that I I made. Okay. Do I have just import it, just or just go to import? That's it. So now here's the thing, right? So open your subtool um, thing on the side. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So when you import, it will replace whatever you have in that selected subtool. So that's that's what I mean. So I actually have to. How do I go to like bringing in something new and keep what I had there? All right. Okay. So go on that same palette that you're in uh, in subtool palette. There's a little append button on the on the bottom right. Yep. So, yep, so append. My face, my face isn't here yet though, like because I just replaced it. Yes, so I'm exactly. Saying, like, don't I make this make poly 3D mesh? Then. So go import, yeah. Go uh select. And bring in my head. There you go. Then append. So right, you have to do I'll, it for a different sub tool. Have that. There you yeah. go. Gotcha. Okay. Now you've got two sub tools, right? Yeah. All okay. right. Got it. Awesome. So append guys will give you this. Uh, it'll basically bring up the tool palette, right? The same thing as if you go up to your tool Thank palette you here. Follow, Alec. <laughs> With a smooth, follow, sexy voice. Uh, yeah. um, it's the same thing, right? So you can go and pick up whatever you want to this way, right? So the same thing yeah. with append. Append will come in here and you can say, well, I want, uh, maybe I want a sphere in here as well, right? And then now I have two different sub tools and you can move between the sub tools However, by that, All right? So another really quick thing that you'll need to learn is um, keyboard shortcuts, right? They're going to save your life in this in this um, in this software. So if you if you hold down Alt and click on a different subtool in the in the window, it will actually oh. move to that subtool. Thanks for the flaw, Leco. Uh, sorry, hold sorry. Alt. Hold Alt and then click on your head. Right. So oh. it's going to move. Oh, that, just, that goes back and forth between yep. them. Exactly. So hold Alt and then just select which one, and it will quick jump to um, uh, to that subtool. Thanks for the follow, Matro. Okay. Yep. Okay. Easy okay. enough. Cool. Fuzz. Oh, here we go. We got a train happening. Thank you very much for the follow, guys. Appreciate it. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So and now oh, nice. check this out. Right. So. <laughs> thanks for the follow, Aper. When you um, uh, how those save um history <laughs> thanks for the fall letter they're starting a train they're, oh they're starting a train to piss, they're doing this to piss you off right now <laughs> it's all know. good dude no thanks guys appreciate it um are we gonna wait for the train just wait for the caboose I think, it's done. I think it's done all right okay, okay cool okay. by the way thank you guys for the follows too like i had a couple of people um uh follow a couple minutes ago <laughs> thanks for the follow man <laughs> all right oh, so uh like we were talking about um the save states each um, each one of your sub tools uh, will now have um, save states, right? So if you switch back to your um, coat, yeah. Okay, badge. That's that's good info, actually. I didn't know that. Yep. So if I do this, so I went back to my. So if I go back to my head. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right. So if you just so switch back, back and forth. Head. Oh man, that's great. Okay. Right. 
Yes. Yep. So it all, has all the adjustments I've made to it. Right, exactly. And we'll build on top of that saying that now this tool that you are working on, not the subtools, but the tool that you're working on now has all both of those subtools and their save uh, their um save history. I mean their um edit history, right? Hang on, we just got a subscriber happening here what? coming up. What? Coming up. Hang on. Hey, Hang WKA. WK hasn't popped up on, on mine yet. Oh, right. It should <clears throat> pop up soon. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm still waiting for it. Hey, WKA, thank what? you very much. Let's get some sub hype in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, WKA, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, being in here all the time. That's awesome. Okay, sorry, man. Keep oh, going. Hey, man. That's what we're here for you guys. Yeah. That's why we're here. Okay, so um, now, so in the tool that you're using, you have two sub tools and their um, their save history or their edit history, right? So that okay. will be the same thing for all of the sub tools that you have in this tool, right? Okay. Each one of them will have their own um, uh, state history. Okay. Cool. Excellent. All right. All right. Yep. How do you feel about that so far? Yeah, basically, it's no matter what I'm doing with the sub tools, basically any any sub Z tool will hold all that history unless I guess I merge them, and then that probably deletes it. I would imagine. Uh, yes. So there's there's okay. ways there's ways around that. Um, all right. So let's show you really quickly. Um, hey, Glotus, thanks for the follow. Um, if you hit Shift F on yours, that's going to bring up uh, Polyframe, right? So this is I use Polyframe a lot. Um, Shift F, you said. Shift F, F as in okay. Frank. Yep. All right. So that will just give you uh, topology, All right? And this is yep. really helpful for when uh, you have a lot of subtools. You don't know which one you have selected. If you just hit Shift F, it'll show you which one you basically you have selected. So it's a, another quick visual way of um, seeing. It's also on the right hand side. If you see about halfway down. Yeah. Poly, line, polyframe. Yep. Just, it's just basically wireframe, basically. Yep. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Cool. So that's that was Man, really helpful. A lot. This, this is awesome, buddy. Keep going. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yep. All right. So now, um, do, 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 do. let's do uh, navigation. I, I know that you pretty much have navigation down pat, right? But let's yep. just quickly go over it for everybody else. So uh, yeah. click and drag off off of uh, the model. We'll do rotate, right? Yeah. But if you right click and drag. When you're on the model, it'll also rotate. Do you have uh, Do you have right click on your um, Wacom pen? It's usually like the like the top. Oh, I see what you're saying. The I'm top sorry. clicker. Yeah, I, I never I never even use that function. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's really helpful when you're in really close like this, and the model's taking up your whole screen. Um, that, yeah, then you can just great. hit right click, and then you can move out. Right. So if you hold. Um, All right, another another great one is a hold down shift and alt and just click once outside of your model and it'll and it'll snap it it no that will um oh, get you yeah. it'll center your subtool all right and then if you do it again it'll center all of your subtools say it again one more time hey actress say so, it one more time uh shift alt and then click outside will center the oh, subtool okay. that you have on if you do it one I more time yeah if you do it twice it'll sub it'll do everything very cool. Right? Yeah, very super, super helpful. All right? Um, okay, for you guys also, uh, if you hold, uh, the navigation is a little bit weird, and I've had a lot of people kind of complain about it, but once you get used to it, it's, you know, it's super easy, right? So if you hold down Alt and click and drag, then you can translate around like that. Yeah. And then if you hold Alt, click and drag, and then you let go of Alt, that will zoom. Got it. Yep. Cool. Yeah, Excellent. I think this is actually really good for everybody else too. Yes, yes, not exactly. Just, not just indie, industry professionals <laughs> like myself who don't know how to use ZBrush. Right, right, exactly. Sorry, ZBrush. ZBrush. Actually, we're not we're not in Europe, so we can say ZBrush. Okay, all right. Um, about, let's talk about the transpose tool. Right, this. Oh yes, yeah, that's what right? I want to learn. Let's okay, so now um, uh, if you look up at the top, right, we're always in edit mode pretty much, right, whenever yeah. you're doing that. And draw is like your cue, basically. So like if you're in Maya, like that's your normal state is the draw mode, right? So if you um, 
<laughs> Black she saw. Wow, that's racist. <laughs> okay. Um, Zed brush. We don't say Zed brush. Um, okay, so if you do move tool uh, or scale or rotate, um, then you get this funky, awesome little gadget. Gadget. So say, say, gizmo. say one more time, Brennan. Sorry. Hey so guys, if, hey Gam. If you hit yeah. uh, W, E, or R, so it's w, the same thing okay. as Maya, right? Yep. Move, scale, rotate. Then you get this um, this awesome little uh, translation tool, transpose tool. Okay. Right? That guy. All right. So uh, let's take something very easy, right? So let's do. Yeah, I want to do the ear. I'm going to make my ear bigger. Okay. I'm going to make my guy look uh, all messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you hold down sh first and foremost to reset it, if you hold down shift and then click on, click and drag on the model. All right, hold shift and then click on the model and then drag off. Sorry, hang on. Shift. Okay. Shift, click a drag. Right? Okay. So now oh, you yeah, can. Yeah, you basically just redo it. Right. So wherever you click the initial click, if you, like if you just hit it once, it will always do perpendicular to the normal where you click. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. So like uh, if you're doing um, primitive stuff like I, like I've got right now and you want to, um, let's say you want to make this longer uh, in this pole, right? You can yep. click on this middle, for the fall, Novo. Um, like that, and it will automatically go that way, right? All right, so let me give you just a quick, um, if you want to pay attention to mine. Uh, yep, I'm watching you right now. All right, now. so this, uh, the end is where your function is, right? So if I, if I do, oh, I'm on the wrong sub tool, hold on. Um, all right, so this will be your basic function, right? So I'm doing the move tool. So that very end will actually scale it up, right? If you do the middle, that's that's the actual move, right? If you grab the middle. Yeah. Uh, mine's getting a little, maybe, so what if I want to just have just, like say I want to affect just this part of the ear. All right, so what you have to do is you have to actually use masking. So okay. we'll, we'll get we'll get yeah, to masking. Yeah, we'll do that right. I'll we'll just get to do masking. the top of the top of the head right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you oh, so it's it's basically gonna it's looking at the whole object though. Right, exactly. Actually. That's if you if you do the top one, the middle um, orange ring is your full move. Yeah, in in the in the middle. There you go. Oh, that actually moves my object. Right. So that's the move part of the move tool. Oh. Right. So now you can also do is based on the the uh, point of origin of your translate tool. If you do the the very last one, uh, orange circle, it will actually move compared to where your origin point is of your transpose tool. So sorry, say it. Okay. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing right now, basically. Right. Exactly. So it's a little okay. bit like scale. But um, it's moving ooh, ooh, based ooh, 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 on <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Moving based on that location, right? Yep. Um, yes, banana. I am. This is my head. Why? Well, I, I just have it in here, but yeah. Okay. And the origin uh, point, uh, the orange circle, the origin point, will give you this clipping plane, right? And that's what was happening uh, on yours. Sorry, the that which one? yeah. Which one am I looking? The the origin point. That one, yeah. So oh. that'll give you a clip clipping plane. Basically, it just flattens everything onto that. So it's a really quick way to... Um, so just with the move tool uh, on the transpose tool, um, you can scale it up a little bit. Um, you can actually move it or you can clip it. All right. So that comes in really handy when you're doing um, all kinds of stuff. All right. So if you grab uh, the middle blue line... Yep. Right, that will actually move the transpose tool to different location based on the orientation that you have. Yeah, what I'm doing right now, basically. So you're saying, oh, hang on. No, I don't think I'm. Well, maybe I'm doing the wrong. You mean the yellow? No. So the 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 blue line in between the three dots, the in between the three uh, orange dots. Yeah, right, this it's... is what's happening when I'm moving it. Okay. Wait. All right, so oh, grab the line. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, grab the grab the line in between those. Like in between the. Here, if you look at mine real quick. Yep. All right. So if you grab the line here. Yep. You can move the actual tool without affecting the model. 
right? So if you want to re-move the actual tool, just grab it. So here's your origin point. Here's your actual move. And if you grab here, it will move the move the actual tool. Okay, mine maybe mine's not. Maybe I must be doing something. So wrong. here's something, right? So you have these uh, re um, um, these little guys, uh, like the the green, the red, and the blue around your origin yep. point, right? That will re. So if I hit the green one, it'll do it perpendicular to what you have now, right? Okay. And sometimes you see, like you can click the little blue one in here. Right, and that's that's when you kind of run into issues. So uh, just just drag out a new tool. So hit Shift and then drag, and then just make it long enough so you can grab the. There you go. Okay, so I've done that, right? Okay, and now now grab the line in between uh, the last two dots. Oh, yeah, I see. There you go. Right. Okay. So now that's always going to be orientated towards the camera, right? So when you move this, it'll go perpendicular to where you're looking at in the camera. Okay, so another, another, um, all right, so the, at the origin point, you have uh, uh, blue, green, and red um, handles, right? So those are reorientators, right? So if you hit um, like the red or the blue, that will reorientate on um, perpendicular to what you had before, right? Okay. Oh, these basically, they just go in the different axes. Exactly. Right. So okay. it's great because if you're doing a, uh, like a rotation or something like that, or a move, um, you can, um, reorientate this in 90 degrees, but without moving your origin point. Right. So it becomes really specific for, uh, if you're doing, um, you know, specific moves or, or, or something like that. Right. So this, so this is basically just good for scaling a whole object. It's not going to, it's, it's not like it's not specific or anything. No, like it, it is like, very. It, it can be very very specific, but if you have to use the masking. Yeah, if you use masking or polygroups. Okay. We'll get into that. So the the basic idea, the reason why I want to take an extra minute um, to really fully learn the transpose tool is because it can be your best friend or your arch nemesis. So, um, if we spend a little bit more time with the transpose tool. It'll make your life a shit ton easier. All right. So, um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay. so, I'm and then right if you do move, scale, or rotate, it will do different things, right? So let's go to rotate real quick. So hit R. Okay. All right. Um, so if you hit R, then you can rotate. If you grab the, the last. Oops. Hang on. Yeah. Many say come. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then if you um, if you hit if you click on the middle, it will rotate around that axis that you have. Oh, okay. Right. And then if you hit the origin, it will rotate around the other axis. I mean, uh, it will rotate around the um, the forward line. Right. And if you see that the actual um, the origin point has flipped to the other side. All right, yep. so it acts a little bit differently depending on whether you're on move, scale, or rotate. All right, so another thing to keep in mind is that, um, so if you just watch uh, watch mine real quick, it will actually um, attach both sides to your model if you want. All right, so if I, all right, so if I just click and drag without holding anything, the end point will snap to the model doesn't matter where it is it'll snap to the model at that point right so you can orientate your transpose tool that way so if you want to move uh, uh, across a particular plane you could do it that way say, say one more time Brent. so uh, if you if you just if you don't hold anything on the keyboard and you click and then drag um, and your end point ends up on a different piece of the model that yeah. end piece will snap to the geometry where oh, you left it right so if you like, if you want to move, that was it. thanks for the follow. Yeah, thank you for the follow, man. Um, if you want to move like a, a finger or something, right? You want to put the origin point um, at the knuckle and then click and drag to the end of the finger, right? Okay. So what? How do I? So I'm moving it right now, but and I'm moving the. Um, I'm actually moving the. 
like the parts, but it doesn't seem to be rotating. Am I pressing the wrong rot? Am I pressing something? There you go. Wrong? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So how do can... I do it from this? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah just okay. like that, right? Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, and now uh, if you, so, if you grab the um, so if you're looking at the end of your transpose tool, uh, the opposite side of the origin point, if you grab just the um, the orange circle and not the inner circle of the orange, you can reorientate where that end point is. I see. Got it. All right, and then that will snap again to wherever. Right now, the big difference is, if you hold down, um, if you hold down Shift to create a new one, right, and if you let go of Shift before you end up uh, completing the tool, it'll still snap. Um, it'll snap to. <clears throat> excuse me. Hey, Glotus, thanks very much for the follow. Hyper, hey, thanks for the follow. Um, okay, so. You've been so Juka. I'm inside here. If you. Um, so if you just click and drag off of the um, off of the tool, right? And I mean on the tool, but not on the transpose tool, you'll create a new one, right? Yeah. So you don't have to hold shift every time. Just if you click somewhere and drag, that's not uh, on the transpose say, tool. Say say one more time, dude. Sorry. Okay. So if you click on your model and not on the transpose yeah. tool, it will create a new transpose oh, tool, right? Oh, so you don't have to hold shift that. every time. Yeah. Right, so that will give you the ability to um, snap it to whatever uh, part it ends on. Right now, here's the main, here's the big difference. If you hold down Shift, no matter where, it will um, give you the transpose tool perpendicular to your camera. Right, so so click and drag, and then hold Shift. Yeah, I see. Right, and then or orth orthos it basically. Right, so now rotate around, or like rotate your view around. Yeah, so it's it's um, yeah ortho basically. Right, so it won't snap to it. So that becomes really really important for when you're moving things around in uh, ortho fashion. You know what I mean? So you can click and drag it. It will snap to the um, uh, snap to the model. Or you can hold shift and it will go perpendicular to the camera. Okay. That's going to... It'll take a little time to get used to. It's okay. Totally fine. But the... Uh, as so yeah, there you go. As soon as you can grasp the transpose tool, um, it makes life a ton easier. So give it a chance. Okay, so to... Whoops. Um, and you pressed... Uh, to get the transpose tool, you press what to operate. Either it? either you're in move, scale, or rotate, and it'll automatically go to your transpose tool. Okay, so move is which one is move? Uh, w move E or R is just like Maya. So okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep. That's easy enough. Yep. Right, and you'll see your brush your brush tool on the top left. It's your actual transpose tool. Right. So technically, it's actually a brush. Jeez, I. I've totally messed up some shit here now. <laughs> right. Okay, so my actually this is good. So now my head is gone. My head is completely gone now. Yep. I must have scaled something and done something goofy. How do I get it back? It's a good oh, question. And my yeah, my head is completely gone now. Yeah, your head's completely gone. So here's the thing is sometimes <laughs> <laughs> uh, right Fuck now the brush. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's some of the pitfalls, right? So I'm gonna yeah. When you uh, do appending and uh, you move between two completely different meshes with completely different vertexes and counts and everything like that, sometimes if you go backwards, it will revert to your other subtool that you that you had originally. Okay. Right. So now do you can do import or import, and then just bring your head back in, and it will see how it replaced that particular subtool. Yeah. Right, so keep that in mind when you're doing imports. So if you if you have, uh, let's say if you want to bring in a if different head or a, like a hand or something, I usually just duplicate the sub tool and then do import. Right, so if you go down, <laughs> just duplicate it and then it will replace the sub tool, the duplicated sub tool. Okay, Everyone's, all right. Somebody's like, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I don't, guys, I'm telling you, 
this is gonna. I told I'm I'm doing this to embarrass myself for you guys. No, this is awesome. New starting to rush now. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> You just awesome. fucking wait till I know how to use it. What I'll make though. Oh, dude, Bastards. it's it's gonna be nuts, man. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's gonna be nuts. Okay, so that's the transpose tool, right? Okay, and then if go. you want to get back to just your regular drawing, just hit Q, just like in um in Maya, and that will get you back to your regular brushes. Okay. Okay. So I wanna I wanna just focus a little bit more on the transpose tool. Okay. So I've got this. That. Mm -hmm. And that is basically, this is just a move you said, right? Like, whoops. Okay, so what did I just do right there? I just did something right there. Like, I basically deleted it. Uh, you I don't know you exactly clipped it all the way down to nothing, basically. Okay, how do, I, how do I undo that, though? What did you do? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. Okay, so hit, um, so your, uh, your... Yeah, go forward in your state. You only have two. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just re. That's what I mean. That's, re -import that's it. what me off about this thing. There you go. So what did I do? Okay. All right. So you're on move, right? So I'm, so I'm on W. Yeah, I'm on move. Okay. Okay. So usually on move, you only want to hit the middle one. Yep. That will uh, inside the. In, yeah, there you go. Okay. Unless so you want to actually change, okay, see so that's, that's what you did. Is basically you clipped the whole thing apart. Yeah, but that so this is weird though because I. This is technically. Oh, I guess this is still technically. It's it's squash and that? it's squash and stretch, not scale. Okay, so even though it's W, that's what it's doing. Right. So uh, move has other functions as well. So okay. uh, usually, and right now you're on. Um, so hit oh, X. Got, yeah, yeah, hit X. Got. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and so I've got that one. Hang on, just let me do the... Let me just do the R one really quick. Yep. There you go. So how do I rotate... Hey, Brandon, how do yep. I... Um, yeah, thanks, Happy. I realize that. Hey, then, do you see the uh, use the brush already in your career? I I used it. I use it very very minorly just to look at assets and stuff. Okay, so if I if I want to rotate it just off here, like, can I use this to rotate? Because it looks like it's only rotating. Yeah, it'll, side it, to side the middle one. Axis. Yeah, the middle one will rotate around the axis that you have for your transpose tool. But can I can I get it to rotate in the op like? Can I get it to rotate? Z, right or the uh, Y instead of Z. Right, so that's what the little um, blue, uh, green, and red handles will do. Right, oh. so just change the axis real quick, and then now rotate from that. Whoops. Okay, so I just pressed undo. Okay, you saw I pressed undo. Yeah, do redo. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. Whoa, no, it's not working. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm. Whoops. So I want to rotate basically around here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Make sure I'm rotate. So I want to, if I wanted to rotate around here, around right there, see that's still that's not really doing what I want to. I guess it's not really looking at the middle one. The middle one doesn't really. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I would use um, the either ends. It makes the life a little easier. Okay, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's what you're yep. saying. All right. Yep, okay. there you go. Okay, and then I just want to do this scale one really quick. Mm -hmm. The scale's a little bit weird, too. I always use the end of scale. So how come it's not um how come it's not scaling it so if you uh yeah if i just want it to scale from here up like i want it to scale based off this axis right here right so you want to just redraw your scale uh your your transpose but do it from there and then do it up straight Oops. yeah straight up instead of drawing it down draw it up oh no that's what i did i didn't uh 
Yeah, see, that's not... Uh... Here, look. So if you look at my screen real quick. All right, so this, so this is the top of your head here. Oh, yeah. So I see... Yeah, go ahead. All right, so this is the top of your head. If I hold down shift and then hey, just... chicken dinner. Just do yep. it um, straight up and then grab this end and it'll scale from there. Yeah, so I see that, but how do I make it? So I guess I gotta use a W. How do I squash it though? Yeah. Or this is or this is uniform scale. Yes, this is uniform scale. Oh. Uh, That's what, yeah. So this. move has squash and stretch. I see. Uh, scale okay. has uniform scale. Well, technically, I mean, you can use if you use uh, the other handles, uh, like the middle handle, it will also do some squashing and stretching. So just play around with it for a while. Um, it, uh, it, the transpose tool has such a okay. diverse yeah, way of. I'm, yeah, I'm getting it out. Okay, yeah, got it. Oh, can we? Yeah. Now, how do we do the same thing only using the uh, uh, masking stuff? Okay. All right. So let's talk about masking now, right? So. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Let's talk about masking. So there's two ways to mask, right? Um, one is uh, standard masking, and the yeah. other is polygroups. So polygroups okay. basically are your yeah, quick, so. your quick yeah. select areas. Yep. So I'll show you how to do um, masking first, and then we'll get to polygroups. Polygroups is a little bit more involved, right? So let's say you're on. So if you hold down Control and you yep. draw, right? You'll see like the little plus mask. Oh, let's get you back to hit Q first to get out of your transpose tool, right? Now, <clears throat> doesn't matter what brush you're in. Yeah, there you go. All right, if you hold down um, Control, you can paint in masks. All right. And I guess by doing it in, if I do X, it'll do the same thing. It'll do it on both sides. Oh, how come it's not doing it in both sides? Uh, it's because you're not. It's not exactly. Um, your midpoint isn't actually in the middle of the nose. That's why. Hmm. Can you do it based off of? Um, you can do like local geometry? symmetry. Yeah, there's local yeah. symmetry. It's it can get a little funky. Um, so go into transform. Yeah. On the top. I, I found. I found. Oh, you got. It. Okay. Good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. So if you hold down control, that'll give you, um, mask. Okay, and if you if you're holding down yeah. control and alt, it will minus mask. Okay. So you can paint mask in, or you can draw Oops. mask out. Right. So I control and alt. Alt. Yep. There you go. So control, um, control is mask, right? So whether you're holding down anything else, anytime you're holding down control, that'll give you the mask functions. And you can always tell, look at your brush change in the top left, right? If you hold down control, that goes to your mask brush. Okay, I'm gonna just, Okay, it's good cool. enough. Okay, how do I invert the mask? Okay, so now. Um, oh, Phoebe, you're a beauty. <laughs> what Thanks, you... buddy. Thanks, nice hosting right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks, man. So Prepare again. To be un oh, underwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay, so I've done that. Now, how do I inverse the uh, mask? Okay, so again, control. If you're holding down control, that means you're in the mask yeah. tools, right? So yeah. holding down control, just click once um, outside of your mask. There you go. What if I press it twice? It'll, it'll just, delete it, right? Uh, no, if you click and drag outside, it will delete it. Oh, I see. Okay. Boom. Right. You can switch. Yep. Right? Yep. Now, let's yep. check this out. Well. <clears throat> now, if yeah. you are holding down control, if you just click once on the model, it will actually um, blur your mask. So, hold, sorry, control. Yeah, and then click on your model. Yeah, just just click once on your model. There you go. Oh. Right, and then now invert it. Invert your mask. Uh, what's the invert again? It's, uh, uh, just click once outside of the uh, model, oh. right? And then now click and there you go. Oh, yeah. So you can um, you can blur it from both sides. That's great. Right. That's great. Yeah. That, now you should take me a little bit getting used to. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. So now use your transpose tool and pull out right from the ear. 
Boom. Right? Uh, let's see. I want to do W. Hold down shift, though, so it goes uh, uh, perpendicular to the camera. Oh, hang on. Something. Yep. I'm doing something right now. The fucker. You guys okay. are watching a beast being born right now. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly put to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm um, okay. Transpose to I want to use W. Yeah. So I press W. Yep. And then just click and drag. Hold down Shift to so it's um, yeah. Just make sure it's on that. Okay. Yep. I think I've got it. Right. So here's the thing. Take a look at my my screen real quick. Thanks to the follow elk. Yep. So uh, let's say I'm on W right, and I I have like I just hit it really quickly like this, and I yep. I, I can't really get to all those tools. Um. And I, but I want the transpose tool to be there. Just move it to somewhere else, and then do, redo it here. Okay. Right. Sure. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. There we go. Boom. Yep. It's kind of what I wanted. That's squashing and stretching, though. So if you grab the middle one, it will actually do the move, right? I don't know if I want to do the move. I think I want to do this, this the squash and stretch. If okay. I want yeah, to yeah. go back to, okay, so I'm in this. I'm in here right now. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm in here, but I want to go back. Uh, hey, unicorn, how's it going? How am I fighting ZBrush? Uh, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's awful, it's awful. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, okay, so I want to go back to painting the mask though. Okay. Uh, I guess I got to press Q. Go back into that. Right. That's the best way to do it. So I'm going to show you something else right now because I know you can handle it. Are you ready? So Hang if on you let... Hang on. Let me... Sorry, dude. Let me okay. just get through this real quick. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. How's everybody else doing out there? You guys learning some stuff? Better than I am. They're, they're just like... They're, I bet they're having just a blast watching me fumble through this like a tool. <laughs> uh, okay. So I did that. I'm going to go back to that. Yep, just trying to get it now a little bit. Got it. <laughs> WKA says, learning all the things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys feel better about yourselves now? <laughs> yeah, stop, stop slacking. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. So I've done. Yeah. All right. How you feeling? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm learning a lot, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. This is yeah. Uh, this it takes a little while to get um, to let it all sink in, and the best thing you could do is just give it time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's say you have masks now, uh, right? If, like, let's maybe go to your um, like your standard brush, right? And then that will you know yeah or, or move or whatever, right? So now you can use all your other brushes and stuff. Dude, you're like a um, like an elf now. Yeah, or like I'm a, make myself a hobbit. I'm, I, a I, hobbit. I might actually. I might try to make something here. Actually. Uh oh. All right, guys. Well, no, no, not, Pit. not this very second. Oh, okay. All um, right, man. Actually, yeah. False alarm. False alarm. No, I'm gonna do it. All right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's just it, it, your your turn. Let's see what you. Let's see what uh, the teaching session has done so far. That's a good point. Oh, unicorn! Thanks very much. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the host. I appreciate it. This is slightly embarrassing. <laughs> no, now now you're tangible. Is what it is. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it's all. Yeah, yep. There we go. Yeah, baby's all grown up. <laughs> okay, hang on. So I'm gonna do this. Yep. I still get the move button done. I'm gonna do like you go. a, Bubba Gump. Yeah, something like that. Uh, shrimp soup, shrimp chicken. My life, shrimp salad. Shrimp. Shrimp corn. Shrimp, shrimp on corn. Shrimp. shrimp gumbo. Shrimp. Okay, gumbo. how do I do? And then if I want to get rid of the mask, I just do click and drag outside. There we go. There you go. When a win a chicken dinner. Oh, when a chicken dinner is in here. Chicken I know, right? <laughs> chaos. What's going on, Chaos? Adder, how are you? 
John Doe, rule of using ZBrush when you enter his head sometimes make sure you won't. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Where I know. There? Creating a monster, guys. Creating a monster. No, I think I'm I'm starting to understand a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate it though. Give me a little more. Whoops. Nope. Well, I'm used to there you go. Oh shit! It's gonna take me a while to get used to the. It, no, it yeah, it totally does, dude. It totally does. But once once you get that down, man, you can fly. Okay, just let me. Get yeah, yeah, go, go, yeah, yeah. Just right knock yourself right. out for a couple minutes. Hey, vlogging guy. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, you finally caught the stream. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, what's the... Okay, yeah, I wonder if Hit I it. should ask you around. I'm, wa I'm wondering the, um, like, some of the hotkeys... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just like, say hi to Mary. Hey, Sasha Nacho! What's going on, JK? Hey, banana, Juka, can't even. Oh, oh man, I got a more handsome version of Dan here. Oh, can't even. <laughs> uh, Ashen creatures, man. I wish we could go to THU. Uh, one of these years, I want to. I want to go. One of these years. Okay, so I'm going back to standard brush here. Yep. So uh, when you're doing that brush, you see the little red line that comes out. Yep. How do I turn? How do I turn that down? All right, so um, if you go into, da, 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 let's see, that was in, I think it's in stroke. Yeah. All right, you go up to the stroke um, on the on the very top. Yeah, I see it. And then here. do stroke. No, 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 the, um, on the menu. Okay. All right, and then go down to lazy mouse. All right, so if you can turn that lazy mouse on and off with L... And if you do lazy radius, like turn that up to like 30. Sorry, hang on. Yep. Let's go back to the stroke. Lazy mouse. All right, it's on. Turn, turn the, yes. no, the lazy radius down one. To turn it to like 30. Yeah. And then now draw real quick. Oh, right. no. So that, that gives me more. Of exactly. The, uh, so that's what that does. So just hit L. Oh. Hit L on your keyboard, and that'll turn it off. I don't want that on. Okay, so another thing that happened, though, is I noticed my... Maybe it's just a bug, but my um, my sensitivity is all goofy again. Yeah, it does that every once in a while. Switch to another sub-tool. And then switch uh, switch back. No, no, just sub-tool. Like, switch to your coat real quick, and then switch back to your head. Yeah. All right. Why is it going between them? Like, why why is it not having them both uh, kind of? Uh, so you see, your so the eyeball is off on this one in your sub tool. Oh, right? I see. So if you have it highlighted, it will turn it on. But if you switch to your coat, right, the it's off. Oh, I see. That's why. Yeah. yeah. It's still. All right, switch this to. Is gonna, this is going to be, I know, just a, a problem for me in general. No, it's okay. It happens all the time. It you, it happens like when you save too. Like if you save the subtool, sometimes it happens. It doesn't happen very often. I'm gonna turn this to like three. Yeah, or just turn it off. Yeah. See, like you can see what I mean. Like the this keeps turning off and on, where it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't work. That's a pain in the ass. Hey, Carlos, it's how's it going? How are you? Lazy, how are you? Yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer, actually. Like, that's... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with... I don't know if it's your tablet or what, but... I I, I don't have that uh, issue very often. Yeah, see, like, it even disappears for a bit there. Yeah, I don't like that. It's weird. That's about. 
Okay. How you feeling? Um, I'm a little bummed out about the... That doesn't happen very often, just to let you know. It's only live when you're when you're doing something live. I'm gonna so actually let me do this. So I'm gonna save this as a hang on, maybe lazy mouse step is stepping is too high is what Juga said. Oh yeah, yeah that it's could just, be it's more it's more or less the sensitivity I think though than anything else. Yeah, turn the lazy mouse off. Like uh, hit lazy mouse. Yeah. yeah. Now off. now try it. No, you see like it's not I'm not getting any sensitivity. And it's uh it's being really kind of wacky. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me save. Okay, I want All right. to save. So there's um, there's a couple of different ways to save, right? If you do save as, it's going to do a uh, uh, save it as a Z tool, All right? And then your Z tool will keep all of your um, sub tools in this particular tool. Yeah. Cool. If you have, uh, hang on. Vang is saying, okay, hang on. Hey, F, how's it going? Uh, hang on, how's there something with the Wacom driver? I mean, installed another version. In the brush tab, here's a tablet pen functionality. If you can toggle, use global settings. Okay. Well, let me let me try that real quick. That's in the what preferences? Is that what it is? If you open the brush selection, there's a button reset all brushes. Tablet. Where's the global settings for that? In the brush tab. All right. Where's the brush tab? Brush Top tab. left. Where's the use global settings? Let's see. Yeah. Brush tab. So there's a reset all brushes on the very bottom. That's what he was talking about. There is a tablet pressure. Oh, there we go. Use global settings. Okay. No. That doesn't work at all. What's yeah, the some, reset some, button you said? Something weird is going on with your with your tablet. Uh, on that same brush tablet, uh, the brush uh, drop down menu sure. on the very bottom there's a reset all brushes i don't think that's it i think it, there's an issue with your wacom driver yeah. and zbrush right now reset all brushes let me just try it yeah see so like this is not um yeah that's weird i'll turn off let me just turn the off the symmetry see if it does anything no man it's being yeah. like it's almost it's it's being wacky okay so anyways let me yeah, save so it. here's so, yeah yeah save the tool and then uh close it down and reopen it up yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens. <laughs> okay. Hey, Murph, you're watching me stumble around like an idiot right now. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to... What am I doing? I'm saving, so... Yeah, do just save as. And it'll save it as a dot .ctl. Where's the, save, where's, where's the save as? Top right. Oh, yeah, there we go. On the yeah. tool, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Ugh, okay, ugh. Close it down. Okay. Okay. Let's bring it back up. Man. Right. This it's is it just yeah. Ridiculous. All right. So now now you get to a point where you've uh, you know how the basic program works. Now hey, I'm gonna hey, show I, you. Hey, uh, Brennan. Yeah. Just hang on a second. Just get sure. my wife's just hand out the door. Okay. Just, Bye, Blue. I'll be. Hang on, let me just run this really quickly. Don't go anywhere, guys. I'll be right back. Hang on, be right back. Bye, sweetie. Hi. Let me more data. Yeah, I don't think it's a stepping. I think he's having an issue with his Wacom drivers. Because he was having this issue before, and he... <laughs> Yeah, he restarted his computer and then it, it worked fine. So he's having issues with his drivers. Yeah. All right, you guys have are you guys learning some stuff or what? What do you guys think so far? <clears throat> it's definitely um it's it's definitely a lot to to bite off and chew uh, from the very get go, but um, the next part that we're gonna go through um, right after uh, uh, polyframe, I mean um, uh, polygroups, um, where we get into like all the brush palettes and and alpha stamps and and all that stuff, like that's where like the true power of ZBrush comes in. <clears throat>
Okay, 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 I'm back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. All right. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Tell her about the sub hype. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, let's load tool. Yep, load the tool, Sorry, man. What the fuck was in the stream the other day? Anyone is going to explain how to use trans thickness? Okay, um, let's get through some stuff here. Uh, backfire. No, I don't have any um, tutorials on ZBrush. I always usually, I, I usually point to. Um, if you guys want, um, Marcelo, maybe you can look at look it up to um, Michael uh, Stepovich. Stepovich. No, Pavlovich. Michael Pavlovich. If you guys not heard a hit about him, uh, he is um, uh, has some awesome tutorials on um, ZBrush, and he does some other stuff on in, in uh, Substance Painter and stuff too. Um, Okay, it's better again. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So some it, it happens. It happens. All right. <laughs> Very nice. Um. So yeah, if you guys look up um, Michael Pavlovich, P A V L O V I C H, he's got a really awesome. Um. Yeah, he's on YouTube. Uh. He's also got some gum roads and stuff, but uh, and Art Station. Look on him on on Art Station. But he's got some amazing, really quick, um, easy, hey, easy to digest uh ZBrush tutorials. Um, and, uh, they're, they're relatively cheap, but, uh, they are worth their weight in gold, man. So I'm going to just get a little more used to. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Of the Play for a couple minutes. Here. Yep. And then, uh, so next I'm going to show you polyframe. I mean, um, uh, poly groups now that we're on masking. And then from there, I'm going to show you the awesomeness that is all the brushes and, and, uh, alphas and all that fun shit. Uh, this question from Lazarus. Anyone know a guide that explains how to make hair strands like this? Like this? Like like this? Hold on a second. Oh, that link didn't like, work, dude. Um, if I'm rocking it? No. <laughs> no, no. Here, let, me just get, <laughs> let me get through some of these messages. I feel like I haven't watched yeah, it. Right. Hey, first off, thanks for everybody who stopped and buying stuff. Hey, we got a full house here, which is good, so... Absolutely. Um, bang, reset all brushes in. Try that zero. How's it going? Those ears are. Those ears are going to look good. Thank you. <laughs> and your daughter brushes. Streaming hampering performance. ZBrush exploit. Is streaming hampering performance in ZBrush? Let me take a look here. No, it says my. Um, um, it says it's excellent. Right yeah. Now. Marcelo, the link in the um, in the whisper didn't uh, didn't work. If you put that back into the regular chat, then it should work. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let me just spend. I just want to spend a couple yeah, minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go, go, going, go, go. Going at this. Um, yeah, Wacom's a pain in the ass. Looking gangster. Yeah, chaos. Yeah, right. I don't know what happened. Uh, when I had that captain's my one from your application, fixed it yet. What the hell is this? Stupid commercial. Where's El Badro? Me. Since he just dies randomly. Okay, well, I'm glad this to me. Cut, you're saying something about preferences? What's that about? Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, you asking me? What's up, Jammin? Uh, someone's saying fun shift. Uh, something about preferences? Make sure you do some of the preferences? Preferences? Uh, it's a, it, right now. Um, probably the easiest way to do it is just close it down and open back it up. That's the easiest way. Yeah, Michael Pavlovich. Okay, is there a hotkey for? Can I make hotkeys for my brushes? Absolutely. <gasps> can I do that right now? Yes. All right. Right now. So here's what you're gonna do. Because um, now, if I do that, yep. then I have a feeling I'll be I'll start rocking it a little bit. Yep. More. Okay. So on the very very left hand side, uh, on the left hand side of your color palette, there's little yep. arrows. Hit that, and that'll expand. The left hand side just on the other side of the color palette yep yep all right now take your brush palette right and then grab the little circle on the top left of the brush palette My and then drag it over palette? what do you mean uh the brush drop down from the top sorry say, say sorry say one more time all right so go up to go up to the brush yep. drop down on the very top yep. Uh, you Am have I doing the, this one I'm doing, right? Yeah, don't just, yeah. No, no, don't hit. No, no, on the very, very top. 
up to alpha and color and document. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, and then see the little um, the little white circle in the top left of that palette. Grab that and drag it over to the left. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. Okay. Right. So um, select so the, the and, and this is guys. This is getting a little, a little oh. bit more of like setting up your preferences and stuff. Can't. Kent, Kent even says, uh, hold control and alt and select a brush, then press the key you want to select the brush. Yep, yep that's select. exactly how you do it. But you need to have the brush palette up first. Oh, right? shit, though. But, yeah, like some of them I'm going to want to keep, like, E, what do you e want? R, and W, like those are... I usually do A, S, D, F as my main four. Right, so A, usually I have hey, is... KB, thank you. Yeah, KB, thanks for the follow um, so A, I usually have as the as the clay uh, buildup brush. So first thing you need to do is actually go into the brush panel and select it, uh, and that will okay. show up in your brush palette over there. So go B, uh, so hit B for brush, and then hit C for clay, and then do um, B. I don't know if I want clay. I want stand. I'm thinking I'm going to use standard. Okay. I'll put standard, standard as A. So okay. how do I put standard as A? Okay, so uh, select... Thanks to the follow, Conger. Just select your standard brush first. Yeah. All right. All right, yep. and you can see it on the left-hand side? Yeah. Uh, not the big one, but the actually small version of it. Yeah, on... Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, so that. then yep. hold down uh, Control and Alt and click on that small one. All right, and then now okay. hit A. There. Right, and okay. it'll should give you a contextual um, uh, message on the very top. If you hold down Control and Alt uh, and click on something, it should say, "Okay, now select the key that you want to assign it to." Yeah, so that 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 worked. Yep, and then probably you want to uh, select um, do your Move tool as like S. Damn it! These are gonna totally fuck up all my hotkeys that I like. Damn it! This trans. What if I change my trans trans uh, trans uh, pose tools? Uh, Fuck. Damn no. it. Wait, wait, wait. So you use uh, QWERTY as your and eight, brushes? Go on, man. What's that? So you use QWERTY as your brushes? No. So I use. Um, I'll tell you what I use. I use actually here. Let me let me bring a mud box and I'll tell you right now because I can't. Okay. I don't even. I don't even know about it offhand. Okay. I use R for move. Um, I use E for normal brush. Yeah, I use E for normal brush. I use D for pinch. Um, here, let me let me just open it up. I'll tell you right now. Okay. I mean, you can you you could do whatever you want, really. You know, um, you do you definitely do use uh, move scale rotate quick. Uh, quick buttons all the time so uh, I mean it's completely up to you yeah, that's, um, like I I have a feeling I would just be using the move brush more than anything else like yeah the probably move brush I find is is the one I'd be I'd be using yeah I think I, I know this sounds terrible terrible what does one two three do I don't never use one two three Okay, well that's a good start. That's a good start. Okay, how do I? Okay, let me uh, let me just bring up my box first. So let me see what I'm actually what I use here. <laughs> Dude, two is doing some weird shit. Watch this, guys. Oh my god, watch watch this. So I hit two. Yeah. Oh, what? that's what two did. Oh, what it might the? be like camera settings or something like that. Okay, so E for me is standard brush. That's so weird. What's up, Pakistan? How you guys what doing? This is terrible. I'm gonna basically redo all my all my shit. Okay. Okay. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Okay. So we'll start with that. Okay. So I want. Hey Wilson, thanks very much for the follow. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. So this. So you say Control Alt. Control Alt. Click once on it, and then click on the uh, button that you want it to be. Yeah, thanks, Mar signed. thanks, Marcelo, for the uh, okay, Z nav. And then I want the move brush. So there's move, and there's move to uh, topological. 
What does topological mean? So it means uh, if if uh, like if you have the eyes are are on the same subtool, but uh, are they're sa uh, a separate mesh, it will actually um, it'll take into account what is connected to the mesh that you click on, right? So if you look at um, right, let me let me merge down real quick. I can already tell just having these buttons set the way I want it is gonna. Help oh, that's cool. So one will replay your last stroke. That's what that does. That's oh, cool. interesting. Do I even need that? No, nah, you probably don't. You can do one, two, three. All right. Uh, so move topological. Um, so I have, uh, if you want to take a look real quick. So I have my eyes. At, on okay. a, they're in the same subtool, right? Everything's in the same subtool. Uh, but they're separate meshes, right? So if I'm on move topological... If I click on the eyelid, it will just move the eyelid, right? And then if I click on the eyeball, oh, it will just move the man. eyeball. So that's it takes so into weird. account anything that's connected to that particular mesh that you click on. Whereas yeah, move that's... will give you everything uh, within that brush radius. So let me show you in Zebra, or let me show you in Mudbox. So it, that is better in Mudbox. Hey, Auden. Thanks very much for the fall. So, so you see how... Yeah, let me show this. So the move function, you have this thing called a fall off. You can okay. use, uh, the fall off goes by either volume or surface. So if you do volume and I'm selecting, selecting it, this is what the move function is in ZBrush. Going like this, right? right? See how it's moving the whole thing? Yep. If you go to uh, surface, it'll it'll move more or less just like the area. This this is this isn't a good way of showing it kind of thing, but it moves just the area as opposed to right. the um, like the whole thing kind of thing. Right. Um, I think I want, damn it. Let me try to see here. Yeah, I think I want to do move to Paul, move to Paul G tool. Okay. So which one, which one is that one? Uh, so you have um, to, yeah. So, uh, hit B and then M for move and then, and then move to Paul G. T okay. I think is topology. Yeah. T. All right. That brings it up and then you can sign it. Yep. Oh, sign so Marcelo says one is replay last stroke. Two is replay all recorded strokes, and three is record stroke. That's cool. See, even I'm learning stuff. I don't give a shit about those. Yeah, no, that's no. that's later stuff, dude. Later stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna end up getting rid of my trans transpose tools here, though. I think. Oh, well, they're on the um, they are on your uh, board up there, so you can always get to them that way. Whereabouts? Where are they? Uh, they're on the top of your um interface. Top left, we're up now. Edit and draw. Yeah. Oh, you know what, dude? Yeah, like I just yeah, you I can just, just don't it that see way. me. I just don't see me using those very often. I I don't even. Hey, Magnus, thanks very much for the fall. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't fuck, dude. I don't see myself using those very often. Yeah, okay, that's right. Let yep, me, yep, um, yep. Okay, let me try to. So smooth is smooth. Are. Okay, do you guys have a? Is there a, a like a knife type brush? Uh, so like a so pinch. Like, uh, no, not a pinch. Uh, so damn this standard one. is probably... Look at this. Oh, yeah, on. yep. So like this, yep. like a knife. Yep, yep. Uh, so we call it a damn standard. Damn standard. Right, so if you pull up okay. your brush, uh, hit B and then D, um, and then S will give you the damn standard. Sorry, say it again? Br B, then D is in dog, yep. then S, damn standard. damn standard. That's the one you're looking for. Damn okay. standard. Um, it was actually. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Currently, is no one here in the last one. Press OK to cancel. Yeah, that's. Oh. There you go. Yep. And then you can, if you hold down. Yeah, that's um, perfect. If you hold down um, space bar, you can get to like your different Z, Z intensities and stuff. And if you do Alt, that will do the opposite, right? So. The normal will do Z uh, subtract. If you hold down Alt, it will add. Yeah. Man, the brushes are being all fucked up again. This is, I can tell the brushes are going to drive me nuts. Like, it's its continu continuously getting all messed up. What kind of, what, what Wacom tablet do you want? 
Why did you move on to? Oh, I got a Wacom Four. Why did you move okay. on to ZBrush? Uh, it's just something I sh I wanted to learn and stuff. It was about it was about time to learn it. Yeah, this is gonna. I can already tell this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Like this is constantly fucking breaking. It's weird Henry. that that's happening a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't understand it. Actually, it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, Edgar, I'm gonna tell him about Orb, Orb Crack, but that that one you have to go download. So there's another version of um, Damn Standard. It's called Orb Crack, um, but you have to you have to go download it somewhere and install it and stuff. And we'll do that for later. But there's another version of the Damn Standard that's similar uh, that acts a little bit differently. So um, later on, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, let me. Um, a turn. How's it going, man? Turn. What's up, buddy? Okay. So okay, let me, uh, okay, so let me. If it's cool, I just want to get my rest yep. of my brushes in. Yeah, here. yeah, go for okay. it. Is there a pinch button? Yep. So like this, like to do this kind of stuff. Yep. See that? Yeah, it's under pinch. Okay, pinch, perfect. Uh, yeah, then hit P. Yeah, there, yep. There you go. I mean, this is this. Oh, oh! <laughs> ZBrush makes me want to punch yep. a baby in yep. the face. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I apologize. That's not true. Uh, no. You should really try it. Um, BPI. You should really try that. So much faster than using menus. Yeah, it's uh, the problem oh, with gonna, the problem with minutes, doing the um, the shortcuts like that is that. You have to look at your keyboard to do it, right? Yeah. So if you have like your really, you're only going to use like four or five brushes at any given time, oh, right? Yeah, I can already tell, man. I'm just going to be using hotkeys for everything. Like, yeah, so it's much gonna... easier to to just hit the hit one key and then then go from there. But it's really good if you want to uh, remember some other brushes that you don't necessarily use a lot. Then just know their three code, three letter code makes it easier. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, and then, then where, what about an inflate? Yep, there's an inflate brush. Brush. Is it just called inflate? Yep. yep. Yes, sir, Bob. I'm trying to see what I do here for it. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool, pixel damage. Let's see here. Bulge. <laughs> okay. What does a G button do? Projection master. Yeah, don't worry about projection master. That's old school stuff. Okay. Okay. What's it called? Inflate. Yep. Hey, Jambon. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow, bud. Mike says, "How's ZBrush going? Uh, it is going awful. No, it's actually you know what? It's actually going. <laughs> it's actually going good. Brennan's being uh, awesome with me." kind of learning and stuff like that it won't uh i don't think it'll take me long to kind of yeah no you'll be up and running within the week i wish uh oh. <laughs> so many hockeys i'd want to change but yeah well that's it you can get it you can do that stuff later we got about 30 minutes left in the um in the stream yeah, so we want yeah, to get to some some other cool okay, stuff let's do, let's do it okay all right so uh let's talk about polygroups real quick yeah, that'd be great. So I'm going to give you uh, just the, the very basics uh, of, of polygroups first. Uh, come on, give it to me. There we go. Okay, polygroups. Polygroups basically are quick selection masks. All right, so if you, hold, if you turn on um, polyframe, so shift F. Yeah. Let's do it this way. Um, make poly mesh. There we go. Okay, so um, bu -bu 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 you can make um, poly groups a couple of different ways by visibility um, or by masking, right? So let's say uh, I want to mask out a specific area, right? And I want to keep that as basically a selection, right? Okay. So if I turn on polyframe, 
I can see that that's masked. I'm going to go down to the, the polygroups um, drop down in the tool on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to do uh, group masked, right? And then that's going to give me a new uh, polygroup for that masked area. Right, so you can mix and match both of them, whether you're using polygroups or um, masking. You can use so both. So, so sorry, do can you do that one more time, dude? Sorry, yep. from the start. So yeah, okay, from the start. All right, so uh, I have something masked, right? So I'm just using okay, the regular masking brush, something. right? Okay. All right, and then I go to the polygroups drop down in the tool palette on the right hand side. Uh, let's see, Paul, polygroups <laughs> mid midway. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then just do group masked. Okay. Right. So now um, clear your mask. So uh, control click and drag off. Mm -hmm. Right. And then basically what that's going to do is it's going to give you um, that selection mask. Right. So it's it'll stay that way. Right. Now um, this is really important for being able to uh, manage your subtools and manage your meshes, uh, right? Okay, so now okay. we can use polygroups to hide uh, visibility of certain things, right? So if, oh, interesting. if you hit control and shift and you click on one of the polygroups, oh. it will hide everything but that polygroup. That's really interesting. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Right? How do I? Okay, so how do I adjust it? How do I adjust the um, the alpha on it or the uh, mask on it after I've already done it? Um, it's it's tough. So, oh. it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. From polygame. <laughs> right. So I... if you want to do like so, um, polygroups are really more for they're not like um, they're not like regular masking masking you can be really specific and like blur some parts and like you know uh be really uh straight on other parts um polygroups is more more for managing your subtools okay right? all right so let's say what i want to do is i want to split something off right all right so let's let's how take do I delete this back. it how do i delete it all right all right let me get to that real quick all right okay so if you uh, let me give you just the, the the basic breakdown of how they work, and then we'll go into that, right? So if I hold down Control and Shift and click on the actual um, polygroup, it hides everything yeah. else, right? If I click on it again, it will hide just that. Sure. Okay, got it. And then if I click and drag, uh, hold Control and Shift and click, click and drag outside, it will switch. Hey, thanks, RL. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now. In your subtool panel, uh, let's go to uh, where is it? Where's the geometry? Hey, like a looky, leaky, lucky, looky. Yeah, uh, thanks, Chaos. Appreciate <laughs> it, man. Thanks for this. Thanks for the host. Uh, split. Okay. Uh, split it. Okay. So if you go into the um, subtool drop down. And go down to split. Yeah, go back up to the sub. Sorry, hang on. Yep. Uh, the yeah, subtool. Yeah, scroll up to the subtool portion. Oh, sure. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then go down to split. Keep going down a little bit. Yep. Instead, yeah, towards the right. Yep. Right. All right. So then there's gonna you're gonna have split hidden. That's gonna be um, one of the big ones that you're gonna want. Right. So let's hide something. Right, so uh, control click on one of the polygroups. Oops. Control shift, you mean? Yeah, control yeah. shift click, yep. And yeah. then do um, split hidden. Um, do you have split split on there? hidden. Backfire, is not, thanks for the follow. It's not uh, visible right now. That's weird. Split is, but not split, no split hidden. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, unhide. Okay, now try it again. What? No. No, not working. That's weird. Why is that not working? You're on just one subtool, right? Yep. Oh, uh yeah, I believe so. Okay, Murph, thanks for uh thanks for watching me embarrass myself. 
<laughs> maybe I can. Maybe let me just delete this this sub tool for now on then. Maybe I don't know. That's weird. Split hidden should work. You have to work. be at the lowest. You have to be at the. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. The lowest subdivision. Right. And above you subdivisions. Much. Thank you guys. Okay. Tender. Thanks, dude. Yeah. So um, go. Uh, so scroll down um, on the tool palette uh, to geometry. And we'll try. It. Yep. Oh, I'm, there you go. I'm, okay. I cool. Think I'm, I think I'm got already it. there now. No, you're you're fine. You got split hidden now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Press split hidden. Yep. Thanks for that, dude. Appreciate it. Okay. Yep. Thanks for the help. Yeah. So now, if you look at your tool pal, at your sub tools, now yep. it's on a sub a separate sub tool. Oh, interesting. Right. So you use polygroups to be able to split things off, or mm. merge, or you can merge them back together. Right. So if you want to merge those back down, there's a merge down feature, right? So just under yep. split, there's merge. Just, just yeah, just under split, merge, and then do merge down. Merge down, and I'll put it back together. It says right. undoable action. Uh, okay. It's not undoable. I mean, it's, yes, correct. It's not undoable. Okay. Right? So that's how you can really quickly split things off into different subtools or combine them back together it's between split hidden and uh, merge down. So I noticed that when I'm adjusting it now, mm -hmm. hey, damn, thanks very much for the follow. -up. Okay, so I noticed that it's like actually splitting the actual gene now and stuff. So even though it's together, um, even though it's together, like how do I, okay, so now I notice that it's only affecting just this area now, right? So how do I... Um... Right. So it actually, it technically, so you only want to do this if it's like literally um, more of like a geometry-based uh, split because it will yeah. be a separate mesh now. Okay. All right. So in your, um, the, the head is where you came from, right? Is where you split from, yeah. right? So just undo until you get back to that point. Oh, so, so what if I wanted to eventually delete it though? I couldn't do that? You could delete it, yeah. So I kind of let me just go through the process of maybe deleting it first, just so just so I know how to how to do it. Because like if I do this to an area, but I want it to, I want to do this basically just for sculpting purposes, and I want to eventually delete that the fact that it's a a separate group and stuff. Like mm -hmm. how do I how do I do? Oh, that? How I do mean, I make it. How do I delete the poly group? Okay, so go back to poly group. Yeah. Well, let's undo to get back to the full mesh. There okay. you go. That's fine. All right, and then uh, basically what you would do is in polygroups, you would just do auto groups or group visible. Yeah. Okay. Right, and the color doesn't matter. Um, there's no different meanings for the different colors. It's just a visual cue to, to say, hey, this is different. So let me try... Let me try this for a second. Right, or you can use Alt-W. I mean, uh, control, I think it's Control-W. So I want to do... Yeah, Control W will do the same thing. Control W, what, what will it do? That will Sorry. give you all just one polygroup. Okay. So I've done this. Mm -hmm. I've gone back into here. Um, I want to do group masked. Okay. Yep. Which I have now. So uh, this will continue to be one mesh unless you split it, right? All right, so like move something now. When there's um, when you just have the ear, move just the ear when you have that. All right, so that's how it reacts. It's still connected, but it's going to give you that result. Okay, so now, okay, say I've done this. Yep. 130 people watching me follow my face. Okay, so I've done that. <laughs> And then if I go to, okay, I've done this, the sub tool and I did the split. If I've split it, can I unsplit it afterwards or no? So the, so you cannot undo the split, but you Thanks, can Mac. undo. So when you split, it does two things. It deletes it from that sub tool and it creates a new one in a new sub tool. What you cannot undo is creating the new sub tool. So you can okay. undo the split so it literally would duplicate it. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, you're basically splitting the actual geometry from it. Right, exactly. So that's yeah, it's it's a little bit more for like if you're doing like hard surface style style stuff. Um, but what you can do is instead of splitting it, you can use it for quick masks, right? Yeah, so if that, you that to me would be helpful. Right. So if you hide one and then just mask everything, right? So yeah, turn on your let's say. So if I so I've done that. Oops, I've done that. Now I want to go back to my poly groups. All right. So turn on polyframe so that you know which uh, which poly groups you're looking at. Oops. Shift F or a polyframe on the bottom. There you oh, go. Okay. All right. I just see. so that you know which ones you're working oh, with. Oh, I see. Oh, right. yeah. That was my question. I just want to know if I could still do it just yep. like that. Though. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. man. Okay. That's right? cool. So now hide one, and then um, like so, hide the head, right? And then now paint your mask on there, just like normal. Uh huh. Right, and then unhide. Right. Yeah. So it's a quick, it's another good quick, and then you can use the masking, um, uh, like if you do uh, Control Alt and click. Um, yep. on the mesh you can blur the mask and stuff so it's a good quick way of doing uh, quick masks there's tons and tons and tons of other uses for polygroups but uh, if you're doing mostly just head stuff um, it's probably best just for like quick mask style stuff but I use it to your own advantage yeah I have a feeling I'll probably still do heads in yeah yeah wait, yeah box. whatever whatevs whatevs but um, like full characters, maybe I'll do the Harley Quinn in here, which would be kind of interesting. <laughs> Turns funny. Yeah, most people suffering from schizophrenia hear random voices <laughs> in their heads. Dan's inner demon is Brandon, <laughs> and he seems to know a lot about zebra. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> He's so hilarious. Turn, you crack me hey, up, dude. Sculpt. Yeah. Okay, so that's those are poly groups, right? So you yeah. can use those for splitting or quick masks or all kinds of crazy stuff, all right? So let's let's get into geometry, right? So what I want to do is I want to show you Dynamesh. Oh, and, yeah. And Z-Remesher. That's what I want to yeah. show you. That now now that you know like the navigation and like how to move around and how the program works, now you can get into the fucking fun stuff, dude. Yeah. This is why now people that... This yeah. is why people use um ZBrush. All right. So uh, if you want to watch here real quick, I'll just show you yeah. what it does. Right. So this is um, I'm going to show you what a primitive is, what a polymesh 3D is, and then uh, that one crazy kid. Thank you for the follow. And what um, uh, polymesh, I mean, uh, Z uh, Dynamesh is. OK, so let's say I have a primitive. I'm just going to do a primitive. All right. I have a primitive. All right, so let's say if I wanted to do something on it, right, and you try to sculpt on it, it says, you know, make, do make polymesh 3D. Why does it do that? Well, if you go down to initialize on the very bottom, it's just like a regular primitive in like Maya, right? So you can change like the size of it. You can change, um, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, um, the divide, you know, how many subdivisions, all that kind of stuff. Once you make it into a polymesh 3D, um, then you don't have access to that anymore. So it's basically like committing to the um, to the primitive. That's that's the same thing. Cool. Yes. Got it. Okay. So make polymesh 3D. Right now you'll see that if I go down to initialize, it's now completely different. You can't change um, the subdivisions or anything like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's the difference between a primitive and polymesh 3D. Now, where um, ZBrush really shines is um, the subdivisions, right? So from here, you can do, do uh, in geometry, you can do divide, and that will basically quadruple every single uh, polygon that's in there, right? Sure. Right, same thing. You can divide, 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 divide to your heart's content. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? All right, cool. What makes ZBrush so fucking amazing is Dynamesh, right? And so what that does is it lets you be free of the bonds of, of um, polygons, right? Um, so I'm going to go to Geometry, and then go down to Dynamesh, and then I'm going to turn Dynamesh on. Yeah. All right, and you'll see exactly what that does is it changes everything, basically. It just gives you a, a 
relatively straightforward mesh. And then you can go and create all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So let's say, like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to move this up and, you know, create this oblong style shape. But the problem is that, you know, when you start doing that, you get all your polygons stretched out and you can't do, um, you can't do sculpting on that, right? So if you hold, if you're on Dynamesh, right, you got Dynamesh on, if you hold control and click and drag, just like you're clearing a mask, it will re dynamesh everything, right? And now that shape has oh shit has been yeah oh the world it guys can I can I he see understands more, can I see you one more time oh yes hey, uh, everybody it's uh, Folly 3D's birthday today whoa so to hey say happy birthday Folly Folly happy birthday buddy it's uh it's actually a she I I call my daughter buddy it's okay oh yeah it's okay <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough. Right, so uh, if you have Dynamesh on, so Dynamesh will be on or not on, let right? Me, let me do it. Let me do it to the head, maybe as you're doing it. Okay, yep. Yeah, turn, cool. uh, turn on your polyframe. C K G. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, I just press Control F. Hang on. That's... Oh, dude. Oh, oh. New document, what dude. Did... New what document. did I just do? You probably just dropped it. I'm okay. That's right. I'm okay, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, remember you can use uh, Shift Alt Click to center your subtool. So important thing to note, uh, Dynamesh. If you have an open, um, if you have an open model, it will close it. In order for the um, the algorithms to work, it has to close it. Okay. All right. So you'll lose your eye socket. I think you press T. E sculpt, yeah, I fucked up. Yep. I fucked up good. Okay, so uh, hey, go to... we got Shane Olson. Dude, Shane, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Oh. Alright, my daughter's awake. She's gonna come say hi for a couple minutes. Okay, we got ten we'll go ten minutes and we'll pop off, eh? Oh, it's okay. She she'll be alright. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> this, this is hilarious. <laughs> Rafu is saying, is he really Microsoft lead artist and he doesn't know fundamentals of ZBrush? Uh, I do, <laughs> Not for I do much know. longer. Hi, yeah, can you well, say I, hi? I do know how to use it a little bit and stuff. Hello. Huh? You say hello? Oh, the camera's not working. That's why. <laughs> camera's not on today. Sorry, buddy. Um, okay, so turn your... Uh, I'll, I'll just walk you through it. So turn your polyframes on. Yeah. So we can see the... the um, okay, right, cool. And then um, go down to geometry, just below subtool. Hi. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then turn on Dynamesh. All right. And then turn that on. All right. That's fine. Oh, you have to kill your subdivision surface. Uh, um, that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So turn back on. There we go. Yep. So look at. So the resolution will depend on how much geometry that you have. So undo that sure. real quick. All right, and then turn your resolution up. I usually will go in, you know, 64, 128, 256, 512, and so on. <laughs> Rafi, I just got wrecked by your portfolio. Nothing has been said. <laughs> wrecked. It's all right, Raf, man. I appreciate it. It's, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big, I'm actually not a big ZBrush guy. I use Mudbox for the most part. I <laughs> use ZBrush in the past for Star Wars, but... Right okay. Right. Okay. So, so sorry. Say it again, dude. So, uh, your resolution will need to turn up. Usually, I go in increments of like sixty-four, one twenty-eight, ten twenty-four. I'll do five twelve. Yeah, five twelve is a good start. So hit Dynamesh then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. All right. There, there you go. go. Uh, right. All right. Now yeah. make some crazy, crazy changes. Like, um, you know, make his head like fifty, you know, ten times bigger or something, or pull his ears out. Right, you see, you still get stretching, but now since Dynamesh is now activated, if you um, do the same thing as you click, uh, as you clear a mask, so hold down Control and click and drag outside of the um, outside of the mesh, it will recalculate everything that you just did and give you a brand new Sorry. mesh. Hang on, let me uh, let me just make some changes here real quickly. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be doing a creature in here coming up. I yes, I want to do a creature in here. And you can Dynamesh as many times as you want to, too. So, <gasps> What's that? What's that? Hi, buddy. 
Yeah, Daddy's almost done. It'll be done pretty soon. Love you guys. My work has just begun. Yes. Okay. All right. So I've done. Whoops. I've done that. Okay. Right. So now, uh, do the same thing is when you. So the uh, you want to be careful, right? Here's so if you have Dynamesh on, and Dynamesh you're doing masking at the same time, it's the same function as clearing a mask. So just be careful of that, right? So just uh, hold down Control and click and drag anywhere off the model. I'm doing this, just doing No, no, not, no, thing. click and drag. There you go. Oh. So now it recalculates everything. How do I add geometry to it? Right, You then you turn up the resolution. Like, say I wanted to, oh, okay, so if I did, oh, I see what you're saying. So if I did, if I want something like yep. this. Uh, right now, guys, this is the moment. This is the aha moment. This is the aha moment. Oh my Consider god. Consider your jobs gone. <laughs> That's the moment. Right? This uh, this function right here changed the industry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's learning. He's learning. <laughs> Literally, I mean, now you can see why people do retopo and stuff now, right? Because like, you can come in here, do all kinds of crazy stuff with Dynamesh. Uh, don't have to worry about uh, the reins of topology. And then you go back and you do retopo later after you've actually created your full model. Yeah. You can turn your polyframe off too if you want. Oh man, yeah, that's that's fucking crazy. You know what I want to do though? I want to get rid of his. Okay, let me see here. What's the intensity uh, hotkey? Hey guys. Um, Sorry, let me just get it. No, it's okay. Time. I uh, I usually you just use space bar and then turn the intensity down that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, the RGB That's intensity, Z intensity? intensity. Yep. What's the RGB intensity? So if you're painting, you can you can paint and sculpt at the same time. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Let me catch up oh, with some uh, some chat while you're doing that. You betcha. Yeah, well, we got we some a little bit of the little bit of the Phoebe here. Yeah, hey Phoebe. <laughs> so we got some people from Pakistan here, dude. Believe that? There you go. Yeah, crazy. Hey Luis Cruz, thank you for the follow, sir. Shane. Oh, hey man, <laughs> what's going on, Shane? Dude, 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 you're witnessing the birth of a new beast. Heck yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Dota, as you're starting with Dynamesh, I recommend to download Dynamesh Master. What's Dynamesh Master? What's the difference? Why don't they just have it part of ZBrush? What, what is Dynamesh Master? I don't I know I've even heard of Dynamesh is. Master. I've heard of Decimation Master. Oh, Decimation Sharing Master. is caring. Yes, it is, sir. Hey, don't forget to save it, by the way, okay? And then yes. have, I know you're having fun. But uh, when you're doing read Dynamesh and stuff, too? Oh, Brazil is here, too. What's up, Brazil? And don't forget to save it. Okay. I mean, I don't, no, I'm not going to use this for anything. Yeah, 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 sure. Just to say that I have gotten used to ZBrush. Yes. Yes. <sighs> So there's more stuff in Dynamesh, um, but uh, it'll, we'll get into that later, or at a, at, a, at another juncture. Um, hey Dan, which software you use for reach quality? Probably Maya, or yeah, probably Maya. Actually. Yeah, Dota, you're you can choose the number of polys in um, in Z Remesher, uh, but in Dynamesh, it's more it's just, uh, resolution. Whoops. 
I gotta do something about this fucking intensity. <gasps> All right, what is this, dude? Zebra Central, Dynamesh Master. How have I not heard about this? It allows How do you a... have like a oh, no, actually, Dynamesh Master is a plugin that allows the user to set a desired poly count and generate a Dynamesh Mesh. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, oh, dude, you guys freaking rock. See, even somebody teaching ZBrush still learn stuff about ZBrush. That this thing is like beyond a, a black abyss of amazingness. That's awesome. I'm totally going to install that. Dynamesh Master. Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. What? Unofficial information installation. Okay, well... I, I retract my previous statement. Yes, you can set. <laughs> hey, turn your polyframe off. You'll be able to probably see things a little easier. Then, yeah, there you go. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. Hey, Shane, thanks for stopping by, man. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. Yeah, Joseph Durst is a, is a beast over there with um, hitting up these uh, uh, Z plugins, man. That guy's so awesome. Yeah, by the way, guys, if uh, you're not following Shane, um, Shane Olson, he's another amazing um, Disney artist. Stroke my unicorn. Thanks, uh, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Stroke my I unicorn. I have a feeling some of these guys were following before, but maybe I'm wrong. Thanks for the follow. Don't appreciate it. Man, this is, this is fucking crazy. Right? Yeah, I'm just going to let you uh, digest that for a couple minutes here. What time is it? 8 o'clock? Yeah, I should, yeah. I should get Okay, let me give you two more I'm things. Gonna... I'm gonna, I need to give you okay. two more things to digest. Okay? And now I'm going to show you um, Redynamesh. I mean, uh, not Redynamesh, uh, Z Remesh. Remesh. That that one, I actually, I'm good with that one. You good? You good with that one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's one I use uh, pretty. I use that fairly often. Actually. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So then uh, you could Dynamesh and do all kinds of crazy stuff, and then if you want to get and a better one, right? Use Z Remeshers and then subdivide, and then you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Got okay. it? Okay. Okay. So uh, let me show you. Do you know about um, uh, the alphas uh, for each brush? Thanks, Doctor. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so let me show you how to change your brushes. Okay, so, um, okay. go to your standard brush for now. Let's just yeah. do standard brush. Standard. Let me grab my standard brush real quick. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you'll see stroke and alpha, right? So stroke, uh, you can do a couple different things. You can do a drag rectangle, um, or spray or color spray. Lico Twitch, thank you very much for the follow. Okay. Okay, watching. Do okay. It, go ahead. All right. So uh, under stroke, you have a couple of different ways that you can lay down uh, the stroke. <gasps> Hang on. Yeah. Got a subscriber. Oh. Donna Jacob. Dota. By the way, it's Dota. Thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. That's Thanks, Dot. Thanks, man. I really appreciate damage it. Damage awesome. over time and area. Very cool. Thanks, Dot. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's okay. Um, okay, so um, if you go to alpha on the left-hand side, you can change um, the alpha of the brush, right? So go to your like, go, okay. go to your standard brush for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, alpha. Oh. Oh, oh. shit. Yeah. It gets deeper. Okay, now I get it. Right. Okay, and then now change your stroke. Left-hand side. Put it on drag yeah. rectangle. That's that's pretty crazy. Right? And then now take it and put it on to, instead of drag rectangle, put it on spray. Fucking hell. Right? Yeah, man. All right, you're the, sh you're the shit. Thanks, Brandon. I appreciate Dude, this. Man. So uh, this is the perfect place to to let you go from here. Go, be free. I notice is my bro. Oh, maybe it's because uh, how come I can't um. 
Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, dude. Fuck, that's nuts. Right? Yeah, jeez. I feel bad going because we have a lot of people in here, but that's okay, man. We what what we we did our just do this morning. And we got a lot yeah. of info, like we got a lot of setup, we got a lot of um like uh, under the hood stuff. Yeah, this is this is great, man. Hey, hello, Critty is, is hosting. Thanks, man. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, Defense yeah, of the Ancients. That's where it came from. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. So I think, hang on, I'm doing something wrong here, though. What is alpha, what is alpha usually set to? Alpha 1? Uh, the alpha is usually, it's, so it's different for each one. Uh, so standard is usually off. Or standard. alpha 1. Yeah. You know what it is for the, could you take a, a really quick look and see what your knife brush is set at? Or, um, so that's the, the thing. Damn is standard? Yeah, don't change the damn standard. So I just did. What, yeah. What's that one usually set to? Uh, that's so. That's a thing. Is that it usually isn't loaded because it's a. Uh, you can probably go to like forty, but definitely don't don't change damn standard because um it it's uh, have a tough time getting back to the original one. Yeah, that's not what I want. I don't want that one. Forty one maybe. Yeah, so that's probably the one you don't want to change. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Not I should have told you that before, dude. <laughs> Let me see here. No, that's all good. 43. Actually, 43 is probably... Oh, you could just there. reset the brushes. Yeah. Just oh. reset your brushes. How do you do that? Let's go down Let's go. To, into the tool. Yeah, just scroll down. Reset all brushes. That'll yeah. still keep my hotkeys, though, eh? Uh, yes. Should. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Thanks, Escope. Yeah, three D modeler. Baby's all grown up now. Watch out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna have to do now. I'm yeah, you're gonna play, dude. You're gonna play the rest of the I'm day. Start, I'm gonna start making a creature. Yeah. So now you know how to do it, man. Yeah, man, that's nuts. Yeah, dude, I, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. That's, that's so really I got cool. I got probably another five. Five to eight minutes. If you guys, um, if you guys have questions, yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah. If you, yeah. Vice versa. If you guys want to talk about anything, yep. shoot the shit. Vice versa. Yeah. So now is the time. If you guys want to ask some specific questions, just uh, throw it into chat with question and then dash whatever question is, and that way we can figure out how things go. Luis so Cruz, I got you, buddy. Himself. Got you on Facebook, man. Thanks, thanks for the follow, man. How do I? Uh, yeah, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What I'm do you want? in. So I'm in. I'm in Dynamesh mode. Yep. How do I? Is there any way that? I guess I can just go right back to, Dyna, I can go back to Dynamesh at any time, though, can't I? Yep. Okay. I want to delete the. Um, I got a bunch of cool brush brushes I'm gonna use. I don't even know what the fuck I'm making, but I don't care. It's awesome. Yeah, you're just um, playing right now. It's fine. Uh, okay, I want to go to my sub tool. Let's see here, sub tool. I don't see the uh, jacket here. Like the jacket isn't technically. So hover over the sub tool in your sub tool menu. Oh, sorry, that's my bad. It's up here. How do I oh, delete it? I don't want that sub tool. You don't want you don't want the jacket. Delete it. Never mind. Yep. There okay. you go. You there. cannot undo delete though. I don't, that's cool. Okay, cool. Okay, we got a question from uh let's see. Uh we had one from Reg E Reg. How do you make skin textures? I'll come back to that one. But it's a uh it's a mixture between um different alphas and different brushes. Usually you use uh, like the displacement um brush and you use different alphas for that. Um I'll show you that here in a second though. Uh do, do, do. Would like to a, ask a you question. Do one, you do one, I do one. We'll go back. Oh, uh, that was forward. all right. That one, that one was from yours. So I'll do one from mine real quick. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 3D modeler, uh, Matthias. Thank you very much for the follow, man. Uh, I'd like to ask a question. If you want to create a bandage over time, it will have strands ripping off. I'm trying to use nano mesh, but I wondered if you knew anything. Um, 
there's a difference. Uh, there's there's a ton of different ways you can go about it. Um, I probably wouldn't use nano mesh. I'd probably use um, fiber mesh. So I'd create. I'd cre let's say. All right. So here's 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 right. So I'll make a um, uh, a bandage off of this arm right here. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mask first. I'm going to mask off this area here. Oh, there's one other thing I need to show you, dude. You ready for this? Dan, uh, let me let me know when you're back. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay, so uh, back face mask, uh, stereoscopy, ski. Thank you for the follow, man. Um, I gotta show you where back face mask is. Um, so any so back face mask is you know what back face mask is obviously. Um, yeah. Uh, it's it's brush dependent, so it will change depending on what brush you're on. So if you in your brush palette or your brush drop down. Uh, if you go to auto masking, yeah, there's a back face mask button. Hello. Cool. Yeah, can you hear sorry, me? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Do it one more time. Sorry. Okay. So in your in your brush drop down, uh, just on your left hand side, if you see auto masking. Yeah. All right. And then there's back face mask there. Oh, I see. So it'll just put it on both sides, basically, right? No, no, no. So that'll stop it from going on the other oh, side. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. So if you have a really, like, so let's say I'm um, I'm using my clay buildup, and I'm on yeah. uh, really thin, right? If I'm doing, like, it's going to kill the other side, right? But yeah. if I have back face mask on, right, it oh, won't affect the your, other side. And that's in your, whereabouts is that? Sorry, dude. In so your... if you're in the brush, the brush palette right there, that that's yeah. where you're at. Go down to auto masking. In the brush menu. Auto masking. Yep. You're on the right track. Just go down oh. a little bit. Auto cool. masking and then back face mask. Cool. I see. So here's all right. I'm going to show you one more thing before I get to this. All right. Uh, because you're going to want to set up your, your config. So go up to preferences. And let's do enable customize. Okay. All right, config. Enable config. Yeah, config. Enable, enable customize. customize. Okay. All right. Now, what you want to do is just just like uh, setting your hotkeys. If you hold Control and Alt, watch this. I'm gonna grab the back face mask and I'm gonna pull it out onto my dashboard. Control. Would you press to do that? Control and Alt. Just like when you're. Um, thank you guys for the follow. D day, and I think I just missed somebody else. Sorry about that. Okay. Cool. Right, and then you I can pull that. pull out um, all kinds of other stuff, right? So whether it's on or off or that kind of thing. Um, so the important thing to know is two things right now. Back face mask is brush dependent. So if you change to a different brush, that will be on or off based on whatever you set it as. Okay. Right, and it's it's uh, it will reset every time you open uh, ZBrush. So it's not always on, or it's not always off. It's always brush dependent. And that's not just the regular brushes, but it's also for masking. So if I hold down mask pen, you can see that the back face, back face mask is off. So if I turn that on for back face mask, it'll do the same thing for the um, for the uh, masking tool. All right. So when you're done um, reconfiguring your, uh, your interface, just go back up to preferences and do um, hit enable customize again and turn that off. Yeah, I don't think I'll get too much into that right now. Right. It'll just take baby it's, steps. It's, yeah, it's there. So when you're ready to like pull that stuff out and, and do all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, then that's there. Uh, fiber okay, mesh can get... actually be turned into mesh. Okay, let me... Um... Hi, Wynn. Thanks very much for following. Okay, let me get some of the questions. Can I yeah. get some of your guys'? Um, oh, shit. Shibe. Hey, anybody who just who also um, the last couple of days over like over nighttime and stuff have subscribed. There's a couple of them. Uh, thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Actually, in fact, like Dot Jacob, WKA, uh, Ken Stream, Badge, yep. Pixel Damage, Night Barb, uh, Solo Designer, uh, Thirty uh, 3D, Millen. Obviously, you, Brendan, the Thebe. And um, yeah, curve tubes could work for that too. 
Great ref rise. Yeah, like I said, there's tons of different ways you could do it. You, know, you could do this bandage thing that I'm trying to do. Keep going. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to get to this too while you're while you're, while you're doing that. So we'll we'll duel it. I feel bad. I I, I kind of I do kind of want to get off here and try to get to the gym though. Okay. Kind of bad, but yeah. No, well, let's um let let's let's uh answer like a couple more questions real quick, um and then uh let's let's head out because I got I got to take off too. Yeah. It's in, sorry. Without going up again, does anybody have any questions that are still here? Really quick. See any? Thank you very much sorry. for the follow. Do you have any tips for tutorials on creating and rendering realistic eyes? Sander, I've actually done a couple tutorials for 3D Artist Magazine. Uh, the Blue Project issue 37. If you look at that one, there's um, there's stuff on there. Um, Arafu, uh, Substance Painter and Substance Designer is amazing. And yes, you should definitely be using it for environment. Um, if you uh, take a look at um, the Michael Pavlovich um he that i mentioned earlier about the zbrush he also does lots of stuff on uh for substance painter substance designer uh along the same line so definitely check him out he's got some awesome stuff is there any uh, recommendation okay. tutorials for someone who's completely familiar with sculpting um i've been modeling my now never touch sculpting I, I would say just get in there. I, I don't I don't think there's anything specific you need to really know how to do. Just I would just get in there. Uh, what are the ways to unwrap UVs while working in the high poly dynamesh? Uh, that's a whole nother a whole nother like couple hours worth of of teaching. Uh, I uh, UVs are a little bit tough uh, in ZBrush. Uh, it usually works best in conjunction when using um, another core program like uh, 3ds Max or Maya or Moto uh, to set things up, and then you can uh, tweak them here if you need to. Dan Murray, JP has just started Tomb Raider. You worked on on his stream. Dan promo. <laughs> That's cool. Thank yeah, you. chicken dinner. You can turn it. You can turn the fiber mesh into topology. Very cool. Yes, back face mask definitely resets with everything. I always keep a uh, back face mask up on my. Uh, all right, here's here. All right, now that you guys see that, I'm gonna show you my uh, custom UI, and now you'll have an idea of uh, the different tools that I use. Right, so up on top, I have Dynamesh always up on Dynamesh. I have back face. Um, I have all of my visual stuff, so uh, framing, uh, floor, transparency, solo, um, Z remesher. Um, load tools and then all of my um, all of my tools within the uh, tool palette I keep on the right hand side so like duplicate mirror mirror and weld it's delete hidden merge down append delete hidden um, sizing I use extract a lot um, these are all of my uh, geometry like uh, divide and smooth and all my subdivision stuff um, and then uh, noise filters and then my polygroup stuff for um, for that project um, Oh, all kinds of more stuff. Uh, 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 perspective, um, and then I have uh, some uh, brushes on the bottom, and on the left hand side, Adomang. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Um, I have some more brush stuffs like a uh, depth, gravity, top, uh, topo uh, topological, uh, symmetry, uh, custom views, and then I have um, light and and materials and alphas and all that kind of stuff. So that's basically everything. Everything I need is up on my um, my custom UI. If you guys are interested in uh, this UI, uh, send me a a, um, a note on Facebook, and um, I will send you guys the config. If you guys are interested, okay, go. I gotta figure out this fucking sensitivity shit because this this yeah is it's dude it us. yeah it's something going on with your tablet. I don't want to have to turn it down every or turn it off every time i do it yeah it's it's weird I, but mine hardly ever does that dude it's all you bro it's all you yeah it's, <laughs> i guess it, it might be time to update my drivers or something like that yeah i had actually had issues yep back face mask uh how do i set a project in zbrush um uh, you don't really set up projects too much uh you mostly just um i just use it for the z sub the z tools um, the project will save, I think, the actual document. It's a little bit more for if you're using like the 2.5D paint side of ZBrush. Um, I would just use, if you're going to just be doing sculpting and stuff, I just use Save As and Save As a, a Z tool. Save 
Substance, Painter, or Quixel? Both. Uh, how is better than Blender's Dine, Dine Topo? I haven't used Blender's Dine Topo, uh, Dine Topo. Uh, but uh, let's put it this way. Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't used it, so I can't say. Yeah, UV Master and ZBrush yeah, works yeah, perfect yeah. right out of the. Uh, so the thing about UVs in in um, ZBrush is that their their unfold algorithms are fantastic, like amazing unfold. However, where it really, really lacks power is in setting up your seams. It's very, very difficult to set your seams exactly how you want them. So my um, my suggestion is take it, uh, export it as an OBJ, take it into Maya or, or Moto or 3ds Max, set up your seams, unwrap real quick. Don't worry about setting everything in, uh, and then come back into uh, ZBrush with your OBJ and uh, do your um, do UV master, uh, do UV master, unwrap, but make sure you do use existing UV seams, and that will keep the UV seams that you set up in the other program, but use the uh, unwrapping algorithm in uh, ZBrush, so you get the best of both worlds. All right, I think Brandon. I think that's I, about it. Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna see if I get ooh, a twenty. I don't know if all the time now, but yep. I'm gonna try. Man, thank you so much, dude. Dude. I really appreciate that. The beast. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to start making a creature, I think. That's all I need is another project to work on. So. Awesome. Well, hey, thank, dude, thanks to everybody for, for hanging out. Um, I hope you guys uh, had a lot of fun and learned some good stuff. Um, to make fun of me in the process. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, we, we all we all saw the, the birth of a monster, dude. It's, a, it's amazing. You don't get to see that very often, so... That's cool, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, don't forget to, uh, to follow Dan, follow me. Um, we'll probably be doing. I don't know. Maybe we'll end up doing a follow up or something soon. Well, oh, we'll, we'll, sure. We'll be yeah. doing more stuff soon. Yeah. For for sure. So, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chicken dinner is funny. Yeah. Right. Cool. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna jump off. Um, big shout out to uh, Marcelo for for helping out. Um, yeah. All. Yeah, Dude. all the mods. Yeah. Marcelo, Turn. Um, trying to see if there's anybody else. Yeah, and, and and yeah, for me, any any new subscribers and all the followers and stuff, really appreciate it. Thanks, Madness Trucks. Thank you very much for the follow. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out. Yeah, me too. Thank you very much, Thank everybody. You. I hope you guys learned uh, a, a crap ton. And um, yeah, go out and make some cool stuff, man. All right, make some cool stuff. I can't wait to uh, see some of your posts, Dan. I know you're going to be uh, having some fun doing some stuff in here. So, Hopefully in the next day or so, I'm going to try to do a really quick version. Hey, Ultimate, thanks very much. So, yeah, yeah if I'm you gonna... um, if you forget some of the stuff, definitely do. just hit me up, dude. I got you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks man. again for everybody who's following. Absolutely. You guys are awesome. And uh, I'm just running this quick commercial break, and that's basically it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I gotta bounce out. Thank you very Thanks, much for uh, for hanging Thanks, out. Dude. Yeah. Dan, Thanks, you're, we'll talk you're the, soon, man. Yeah, Dan, you're the man. All right, we'll talk to you yeah. guys soon. Keep being awesome. Ah, you too. All right, later, guys.